Hello everybody and welcome back to the Crossroad Caravan. It's Scavenger Scout here and we're going to be playing more Fallout New Vegas. Oh, I love this game. The skies look all bombed out. This is kind of what I imagined the Mojave to kind of look like. You know, it's going to be much, much fucking bigger. Um, But yeah, no, there would be... Because of the climate alone... There would be technically shit growing back. Where the hell am I going? Oh, that's what I need to do. I actually need to go to Good Springs itself. Now that all that hubbaloo's done. I want to talk to people. Pete, what are you... Well... I'm like, what's got me? Gosh. Something's got Pete on the run. So I was like, what's got me cautioned, dude? Now I'm hidden. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Hey, easy Pete. That ought to keep things settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. Right. Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Thank Word you. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. All right. Hm. I'll remember that. Know anything about that Joe Cobb dude? Bad trouble. That's helpful. Welcome. <laughs> Why you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Prospector. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Big Horners. Like digging up gold and silver shit? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking oh. for working tech and such. I call it Some scavenging. Some folks just call it salvaging. But never liked the term. Ah, okay. Way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. <laughs> good money in That's it. exactly what I go for, too. Fuck yeah, you smart man. Do you ever find anything good? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually Damn. got too old to keep going out. Yeah, I feel that. Alright, uh, what's wrong with the NCR anyway? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Uh... Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Tell me about the Legion. They're slavers. Led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. Hmm. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. All right. What's so important about the dam, anyway? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that ah. clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns oh, the dam fuck. owns the territory. Clean water in Lake Mead? They got a whole fucking lake out here with clean water. All right, yeah, yeah. What do you uh, what do you use those bighorners for? What are they called? Meat and hide mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just Brahmin? lay down until you take it off. Yeah. You can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. Yeah. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Yeah, the big horners were the thingies over there. I didn't. I was wondering. I was like, did my brain misread that? Or are we talking about? Here? Know anything about Victor? The machine, harmless. No matter what Trudy says, 
She thinks it's hiding something, <laughs> but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. All right. Take it easy, easy, Pete. Yep. Um. Shit. Yeah. That's him down. Uh, Sunny. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. No oh, shit. I need to get the prim. Any routes? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town mm. with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR right. patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Nah. Any work available? I'm a little short on caps. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of oh. what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. Whoa. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Actually, I already cracked that safe. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. Cool. It'll be more <laughs> useful sorry. to you than me. <laughs> what do you uh what do you do around here anyway? I hunt geckos mostly. Yeah. The meat's pretty good and I can always find a buyer for the hides. Right, right. I also help keep the town clear of rat scorpions and coyotes. Hey. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Yeah, okay, I get that. Let's talk about the area outside Good Springs. Sure. What do you want to know? Mm, any other towns nearby? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. <laughs> no shit. The NCR's got an outpost there. Okay. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. Mm -hmm. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Uh, NCR? The New California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. Uh. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. What does the NCR keep you safe from, though? Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. And what do you know about the other group? Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. Mm. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. Hmm. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Uh, Less uninvited. Uh, okay, I get what the NCR do. We're going to have to help the NCR because of the way we are. What kind of creatures are out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but um. otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. <laughs> I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Mm. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. Okay, that's all I want to know. Talk about something else. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Uh, I'm actually going to head out. Until next time. Bye, Cheyenne. Oh, it's just fixing things. Morning. Oh, yeah, did I ever get my repair up? Do I have a magazine? It's like I forgot a fixing things magazine, maybe. I bet Trudy's got some. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I actually want to see if you got a fixing things magazine. You do. Another satisfied customer. Do you know anything about the robot who rescued me? Good riddance to it is all I have to say. Never liked having it around. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right. Be careful out there. Well. Hey. Uh. Fixing things. Repair radio. That's how the magazines work. Feeling thirsty? I can take mm -hmm. care of that. Radio's fixed. 
Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's she, some caps for the work. Did you just give me 20 caps for that? Not at all. I'm never sure That's how much enough. is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? Absolutely. <laughs> 25 caps. Got a special caps. discount for Thank you, you. <laughs> after what you've done for us. So it's uh, 55 caps, yeah. Got to buy the fucking thing off of you to begin with. <laughs> it's going back to you anyway. The heck, man. Ooh, I can get those sunset sassies. That's something I will get up off you. Mmm. Have that cleaver. I don't use laser pistols. I use baton. Oh, that's right. I didn't sell any of my shit. Oh, well. Well, we're, you guys are going to hang out and we're going to talk a little bit. So, yeah, this is fucking New Vegas, and I really like it because there's just such variety and a lot of fucking character and, well, the characters, the NPCs and shit like that. Um, I think there actually is one famous person in this game. I don't usually take him as a follower, but I probably will in this game if I can get to him. Uh, Brotherhood, keeping that hat. Ready meat, that's right. We killed a lot of fucking shit. Hell beasts. Dog meat. Except, yeah, because she can't buy all my shit. Pleasure awesome. doing business with you. Take it easy. Be careful out there. <laughs> hey, Ringo. Thanks again for all your help. Tell me anything about Good Springs, huh? Uh, I've never stopped here until recently. You're ah. better off asking one of the locals. I mean, uh, what are the rules of caravan anyway? No, I, no, we're not doing caravan. Yeah. I've never done caravan. I'm not doing caravan in this game. It's a whole fucking thing they created. There is a game within a game they created in this, and it's legit as fuck. Oh, hey, Chet. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. No, you guys good. You'd have to, like, be super Ending. fucking close to the enemy. You guys are hella far. It's the beginning area. Baseball bat. <laughs> Hydra. Ravage meat. And the fucking wasteland is so deadly now. Like, holy damn. Oh, that's right, we did I always accidentally fucking sell my bobby pins. Give me back of my bobby pins. There we go. There we go. I was like, I was just on miscellaneous. I don't know what happened. Dog hides. Fusion battery, empty whiskey. Looks like gas tank, paint, scrap, sensor, tin can. Yeah, let's just get rid of the strangers. Probably never gonna craft uh, stem packs anyway. And I'm out. Another satisfied customer. Take, Take it easy, easy now. <laughs> Now we got one last man to talk to before we head up out of here. And yeah, my episode's gonna go a little longer than usual because I do want to talk to Dr. Mitchell and Doc Mitchell or whatever. See what the fuck actually he what's going on with him. You good? How are you holding up? Uh I'm I'm fine. I just wanted to know about you. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people right, right. with medical know-how are hard to come by. Yeah. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. 
Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Nice. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Ah. So, uh, he said before you had something taken from you? Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Hmm. What town is this? Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the cool. southeast. That was, that's Good awesome. Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Hmm. What else can you tell me about this place? Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. <laughs> he don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. Other than that, there's not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. All right. Simple town. Simple living. I like it. Jimmy, oh no, no, no. So who rescued me? That'd be Victor. It was a robot. Fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Right. It's just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Okay, okay. Know anything about the dude who shot me? I didn't see him or the men with him. Damn. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. Yeah. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. All right. I'll take it easy, Doc. You take care now. Time for us to go. You guys have a good morning. Good evening, good night. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. And, uh, yeah, as always, it's been Scavenger Scout. We are signing out.